How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to the Monkey Shine Lab and our continuing series of um, very different Halloween movie suggestions. This morning, or whenever you find yourself watching, I have a kind of a personal uh, story. My wife and I both do associated with this uh, film that we're going to talk about here today. Uh. Your suggestion for today is a film from 1976. You set the way back machine. We're going all the way back to when they shot things on film and they did all the special effects right there in front of you or they didn't do it at all. There weren't any computers back then that were doing this kind of thing. They, uh... They had to do everything with practical effect, and they do it very well in this film. <laughs> My wife and I, when we met, one of the long conversations we had, because it was at first a long distance relationship, was about this film right here. We both found out that we had both seen Squirm. 1976, this is a contemporary, if you will, of films like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and such. This was a, um, an attempt to get a film made very cheaply and to go for maximum gross effect. And seeing this film as a child, it was absolutely for Annie and myself, traumatizing. Back in the day before home video, I, I, I had a Super 8 projector and I would make Super 8 films and I was interested in monster movies and stuff. And at our local film developing shop and camera shop, they had a rack of Super 8 film, con, you know, was condensments of the film. And you could get some that had even had color and sound to them if you wanted. And my first sound Super 8 feature was Squirm. And I put it on my projector and I remember this so well. In the middle of the afternoon, we set up the projector in the basement and I remember watching this film and um, just getting like scared to death where my dad had to go back with me to the camera shop. I mean, I, you know, I was a kid. I was probably, you know, nine, 10 years old, something like that. And he had to say, my kid is just absolutely scared shitless by this film. <laughs> Can he have his money back? And the guys behind the counter laughed and they, you know, handed me my money back. Well, years later, I meet my wife. We talk about this film and both of us have seen it as a kid. This movie is uh, shot on a budget, doesn't even come close to it. Most of the acting is so over the top. It's the reason for watching it. The characters are so unbelievable and so stunted and stupid that it makes this a lot of fun to watch. So, uh, anyway, what is this film about? Well, it's about worms. <laughs> it's about earthworms with teeth. Um, apparently in Georgia, there are earthworms with teeth. There are no earthworms with teeth, but it made for a, uh, a neat claim, you know, back in 1976, you could say things like this. Um, but anyway, they, they, they don't go into a great detail as to why these worms become so agitated and, uh, take over, um, the entire area and kill people. But uh, about 100,000 worms get turned loose from a worm farm and they have, uh, they get shocked by electricity, which makes them 
go crazy one night in the rain. It's, it is so over the top bad. It's good. Trust me on this. Some of these films that I'm going to lead you through, you may not want to watch to begin with, but down the line, you will be glad that I had you watch these movies. You will. 1976's Squirm. You will believe an earthworm can kill you. Good exploitation all the way through here. Uh, people meet some grisly ends. They really do. Uh, you wouldn't think an earthworm could do this kind of harm, but it does. Anyway, check it out. It's the one that terrified Annie and myself as children and brought us together as adults. 1976 Squirm. See you tomorrow. Oh, hey, and by the way, you know... Squirms available on Tubi. I bet you couldn't have figured that one out. We're doing a lot of stuff from Tubi. What can I say? Do searches in your area. Find out if it's on a different service if you like. But you can find it at Tubi. Squirm. <laughs>